Everybody and their grandma knows about the Bohemian Club, Bohemian Grove, but I bet you didn't know about the California Club. I'm in the path of totality of the eclipse right now. We're waiting for it to start. And I just want to show you, look at these con trains. I've never seen this many. The United States of America is making moon trains. We just awarded a bunch of money to Northrop Grumman. Out of a dozen competitors, we chose them to help us build a space economy. Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be breaking down some creepy videos that'll leave you in turmoil. Let's get it. Why is nobody talking about the typhoon-like winds that were happening in China just about two days ago, sucking people out of their homes? Allegedly. And about three people were because of these extreme winds. Bro, literally so scary. I really hope that baby's okay. But guys, the amount of things happening in 2024 so far has, they've been absolutely insane. Not to mention that today, New York had an earthquake, right? New, jo New York and New Jersey. And this was just two days ago. And I don't see anyone talking about it. that wind was strong enough to rip the entire balcony door off with ease like this and this wasn't technically a typhoon now, i don't want to know what an actual typhoon would look like this year that plus the new york earthquakes i feel like harp is cranking into the max this has got to be the craziest case of stolen identity that i've ever seen this it worker for a hospital stole someone else's identity in 1988 and just got caught these two bounced names back and forth so much that it was hard to even read this article but this guy stole someone's identity in the 80s and he's done everything with it. He bought cars, he got jobs, to the point where the person whose identity he stole got sent to a mental hospital because they thought he was lying. So Kieran stole Woods' identities after working with Woods at a hot dog cart in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 88. Since then, he's filed taxes, he bought cars, he fled Colorado after some checks bounced, he had a kid who he named his fake name. Then in 2012, he got a copy of his birth certificate using information on on woods that he got off of ancestry.com 2013 he got a job he was making 140k in the it department of this hospital in iowa meanwhile the real guy was homeless in la he went to the bank to try to figure out what all this debt under his name was he gave him his real social security card but then they asked him a bunch of security questions and he couldn't answer them because he didn't open the account the fake guy opened the account and set up the security question then the bank called the phone number on the account which was the fake guy and because of this bank, the real guy got arrested for fake identity, even though it's his real identity in the bank. He thought he went crazy because of this. He, he was deemed not fit to stand trial, went to mental health treatment. Anyway, he never stopped trying to prove that he was who he said he was. And eventually they got the father on the birth certificate's DNA test for the two guys. This one's insane. It's sad that for 30 years he was labeled crazy. Meanwhile, the other guy was out here living his best life under his name. And if he was able to steal this identity working at a hot dog stand in the 80s, imagine how easy it is with today's technology. That's why I use Aura to sponsor of today's video. I mean, don't you find it highly creepy and unsettling when you go to search up your name or email and you find tons of your personal information just floating around online? There's data brokers that sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, even your relatives. It's all out there. That's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. From the very first time I logged in, to my surprise, this is how many data brokers were selling my information. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from any hackers that could use this information to help them gain access to my social media accounts, bank accounts, or any other sensitive information. Aura also does so much more to help protect me and my family from online threats that I can't see. I don't know if you saw this, but AT&T revealed that over 72 million customer records, both existing and former customers, were released on the dark web. They recommend those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Well, Aura does all of this for me, and best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because a company couldn't keep my data secure. It's really easy to set up, and best of all, I get everything at one affordable price, which in today's economy is super important. You may already have one or two of these tools already, but not have Having Aura is like locking your front door and leaving the back door wide open. I love that Aura is always on and doing the hard work of keeping me safe so I can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I value my privacy and I value yours as a member of this community. So you can go to https colon slash slash aura.com slash modtricka to start your two week free trial. I'll also have it linked in the description. Thank you, Aura. Yo, so I'm in Arizona just driving through and tell me when they started making clouds. 
You know, I've been through here like 20 times. I've never seen this. That's wild. Arizona is located in a desert, so they most likely do this to create precipitation from time to time. But I guess cloud seeding just wasn't enough. They had to go build an entire Nimbus cloud factory. The United States of America is making moon trains. We just awarded a bunch of money to Northrop Grumman. Out of a dozen competitors, we chose them to help us build a space economy. Yeah, you heard that right. Uh, we, we're going to build a space economy. One of the six areas needed for future growth on the moon is power, which is why I believe we have this new all of a sudden moon race coming out of nowhere. And coincidentally, this new 10-year initiative uh, matches up with this. Now, this new moon train is meant to transport humans, resources, supplies from moon base to moon base. Uh, we don't have moon bases yet that we know of, right? So we're making stuff up for stuff that we haven't made up yet. We're also doing this to save the environmental aspect of the moon because when humans step on it, there's no environment, so the moon print stays forever. Train tracks... There's only one train track, no no human tracks. We wouldn't want to offend the Martians. On top of this, right, we're, the government is giving all this money to the private sector, who is then going to use uh, Elon Musk's SpaceX to try and launch all these materials up to the moon. Okay, so just to recap here, China and Russia have a 10-year initiative to build a power plant on the moon. The USA comes out and says we have a 10-year initiative to build a train on the moon, and then we're going to use these private sectors to do so to build a space economy. Instead of developing the space economy, they could use all that money to help the regular economy. Next thing you know, Bill Gates will be buying up all the land. This isn't some sort of light show or spotlight pointing up at the clouds and this might be Project Bluebeam because it looked like a mothership with rave lights. You guys, I don't even know what's happening at this point. Um, I'm in my, in my room at the hospital and they don't have enough staff here. So they said, hey, just so you know, there's a thing on the wall and it's going to be your virtual nurse. That thing right there. And she, she just came on. And um, it was, she was on the TV, like our TV stopped, we were watching a barbecue show. She was on there and she, uh, like the camera turned around and looked at us and then she was like, how's it going? Judy, what do you mean, how's it going? I'm freaked out right now, what are you doing up there? And where was she? Nobody knows, I think she's in the cloud. Anywho, they don't have enough people here, and so they use virtual nurses. We didn't know about this, and Liz works in the healthcare industry, and she used to work at this hospital on a different floor, and she said she didn't know about this. So this is what it's came to, guys. No, you can't virtually care for kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a ped she does peds, but this is freaking crazy. This is crazy. I'm mind blown right now. I'm actually impressed. The real kicker is going to be when they replace the person behind the camera with ChatGPT4. And if they give me a virtual nurse, they better charge me virtual nurse prices with how expensive healthcare is. I'm in the path of totality of the eclipse right now. We're waiting for it to start. And I just want to show you, look at these contrails. I've never seen this many in the sky. Check this out. I mean, they're everywhere They had the pilots working overtime just to make sure nobody had a good glimpse of the eclipse. I would have been upset if I drove all the way across the country to the path of totality and I get there and it's the path of total cloud seeding. It looked like she booked her room at the Freemason Lodge Resort. She needed to recheck her itinerary. Rob, what is the Vatican keeping secret? For the entire time that they've existed, they've collected manuscripts and relics and items from either campaigns or crusades. Uh, 
not only for their own research and to support their ideas, but also to prevent anything coming out. Because they need to control the information around biblical issues and the biblical dogma, they can't allow alternative views to become public, become disseminated. What kind of what kind of things exactly are you talking about? In terms of documentation, they've got 52 miles of shelving of books and manuscripts alone. So that will be everything from early first century fragments to entire potentially entire alternative gospels. And why would that be damaging to the Catholic Church? Because it, uh, there's a the potential for alternative views to emerge. There were lots of different books originally that were is set to go in the Bible, and it was only through a process of politics mainly that uh, the, book, the final books were chosen. There are also ideas that there's a book of Q uh, that academics have termed a, a book that would have been the source material for the main gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, because the main gospels were written after, long after the time of Christ. So if they've got something like a book of Q, that would undermine everything else. I would trust the Vatican a lot more if they actually release some of this information, but they probably don't because they know it would take away a lot of their power and the collection plates won't be as full. So I watched a video the other day where somebody said that drumstick ice cream does not melt. And to be honest with you, I just kind of jumped over the video because I was like, that's ridiculous. Uh, so last night my husband made me something and he put a drumstick ice cream on it and I didn't want it. So we put it in the sink and look at this like it hasn't melted like regular ice cream this is almost like a um like a, a cool whip consistency or something like that so like it did get soft but it definitely didn't melt if she really left this out overnight and this is the result then they need to relabel this as ice cream like substance because real ice cream melts my digestive system would not be able to handle this demonic technology this is what elon musk has called cern's large Hadron Collider, and CERN has just found a ghost-like entity within their collider. This just adds fire to the conspiracies. Imagine you're playing a video game and you suddenly stumble upon a secret level that the game developers never talked about. That's a bit like this, but with more demons, so like the game Doom, except it'll be on Earth and the demons will be here. CERN's main job is to smash tiny particles together at incredible speeds to see what smaller bits come out of these collisions. CERN has found a lot of particles this way, but this time they found signals in their data that didn't match any of the particles they knew about. They announced that they had isolated a resonant ghost that affects how particles behave inside their super proton synchrotron. These ghost or occulted particles could essentially explain what the universe and reality consist of outside our current understanding, or what they call the current theory of particle physics, the standard model. The next challenge is proving these particles exist, since they are rarely detected and can pass straight through everything. It's a little scary to know that they're running these experiments but don't fully understand the forces of nature that they're dealing with because they could really be opening up portals and that's where this resonant ghost is coming from. <laughs> I feel like the only thing that saved her is that she hit the shark with the people's elbow on the way down and had him stunned. If not, she would have had a terrible day. So thanks to Ryan Garcia, everybody and their grandma knows about the Bohemian Club, Bohemian Grove, but I bet you didn't know about the California Club. Way more secretive, way less members, uh, likely equally as important, so I wanted to go through it for you guys. Now, before we get into it too hard, we're just going to go straight to Wikipedia. As always, there's basically no info on this place, but the Jonathan Club is people who run LA, very rich, famous, you know, Steven Spielberg type people. It says right here, the people who own Los Angeles belong to the California Club. Uh, super strict, invite only, you have to have at least six existing club members give you reference and then pass a series of interviews, background checks, reference checks, very strict. Uh, I used to do produce sales, I was trying to get these guys as an account, it is so secretive. I was communicating with the chef to see what kind of produce they needed. Uh, through the front desk guy. I never got a phone number. I was never allowed anywhere past the front lobby. I mean, I couldn't even talk to the chef myself. 
he was like a translator for two people that already spoke English. It's places very secretive. Now to take it a little bit further, we have stuff like the Bohemian Club. I mean, some of the most rich, famous people go there, industry heads, and we have member lists. Here's the weird part about the California Club. Nobody knows who's in it. Uh, it is nobody knows. They don't boast it. They don't. I mean, it's interesting to say the least. So now we look at somewhere like San Vicente Bungalows. This is a really private club in West Hollywood. I also tried to sell them produce. These guys at least boast who they have. Prince Harry, Steven Spielberg, Dakota Johnson, Sidney Sweeney, I love you. I mean, uh, Zoe Kravitz as well. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, I can't find a single member's name on California Club besides the guy that started it in the 1800s. I mean, even we even know who's in Bohemian Grove. We don't know who's in the California Club. It kind of just sounds like a really exclusive country club, which is why the membership list might be private. But maybe when they're done doing rituals at the Bohemian Grove, they head over to the California Club to take a load off. Three billionaires destroying the real estate market right now. And number one, I bet you've never even heard of. Number three is Jeff Bezos. He's on here for two reasons. He spent millions investing in this company. And you might think it's not a big deal. It's just a real estate company. A real estate company has already bought up 200 single family homes and taken a hundred million dollars of inventory off the market for first time home buyers. And he's buying up hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland, 420,000 acres, but also way behind Bill Gates, which is bad, but still not bad enough to be on this list. Number two is the CEO and co-founder of BlackRock, Larry Fink. Look at this right here. BlackRock and other corporations are buying up to 30% of available homes in Georgia, 30% in Arizona, and the list just goes on and on. 29%, almost 30% in Texas. That's a huge state. They are choking the housing market of much needed supply by buying it all up with cash. Number one is businessman John Carl Malone. He's 82, has a net worth of $9.4 billion that he made in telecommunications, is the largest private owner of farmland across America, and the second largest private land owner just overall. Between him, another billionaire Ted Turner, and billionaire Bill Gates, they own over 6 million land acres in the U.S. That's incalculable amount of resources that we all depend on. You don't even have to be an economics expert to realize that one company owning over 30% of family homes in a single state probably gives them the ability to artificially hike prices on the entire housing market. They took the game of Monopoly a little too literally. Now, have you heard the theory? It goes back to Tartaria that the Great Wall of China, it's actually facing the wrong way. The holes that they shoot arrows out of is facing towards China. Yeah. No way. So yeah. it's suspected that it could have possibly been Tartaria. That's super strange. Speaking of the wall being built by someone else possibly, want to talk about the Chicago World Fair? Yeah, they're saying the influence was Tartarian architecture. Have you yeah. seen the pictures? It looked like ancient Rome. They said that they World built Fair. it for the World Fair, but then after they just tore it all down. And it's like, that doesn't sound right. It reminds me of that whole conspiracy theory that we just skipped all those years. They rewrote the year of history that it was, mm -hmm. and so so we actually are living in right now the 1500s right or something. now yeah now would be difficult because of the digital footprint that we have yeah but it's like it would be so easy just to convince people yeah this just didn't happen it's that whole mandela effect thing the thing is it's confirmed like it literally existed like and so it's just yeah why, why get rid of something like i don't know about the tartaria aspect but if the holes where they shoot arrows from on a great wall of china are facing the opposite direction and it sounds more like they were trying to keep people from escaping than keeping people from entering what? yeah they have a cloud over in there Look, there's something flying through the air. What the f was that? What the f was that? It kind of looks like the shadow of an airplane, but I didn't see any planes nearby and they don't normally move that fast. So either it's an aircraft that's using some sort of cloaking technology that we just don't know about or a silver server. Okay, we got to put our tinfoil hat back on for this one, y'all. This is weird. So I come across this post on my Twitter. Um, Can someone please tell me what the F is going on in the background? Okay, photo number one. Boom. Look in the background. Get your full. Getting weird. Photo number two. It's a little weirder. Hold on, let's zoom in. Mmm. This is weirder. Like, what's happening here? So I'm like, this is no way that this is real. I'm gonna let me go to her page myself so that I can see if this is even real. Well, I'll be doggone. It's really on her page, March 16th. Y'all see that right there? And I'm zooming in myself so that y'all can see. Like, this is a real photo on her page. Look at that one. What in the reptilian is going on? 
what need somebody to explain to me like I'm three years old why America's Got Talent has shapeshifters in the audience and if these aren't shapeshifters then what the heck is it and why would someone especially a host of America's Got Talent be editing faces in the background of her photos this is not April Fool's this was posted on March 16th it's on her page right now somebody tell me because for those of you who are so good at refuting conspiracies Give me an answer for this in the comments. Thank you. She could have applied a filter to the photo or the crowd is just AI generated altogether because there is no other way to explain why everybody in the audience has Beetlejuice eyes unless it really was shapeshifter night at the Apollo. There's an AI fish named Belle roaming the seas. This little fish is supposed to blend in with its environment and is able to self-navigate, take DNA samples, and even take high quality videos. Belle is going to revolutionize the way we research life under the sea. So what's the plan when a hungry predator comes across this thing and devours a plastic robot? They didn't think this one through at all. The first time ever science Scientists are unveiling a 240 million year old dragon in its entirety. The National Museum of Scotland, uh, National Museums of Scotland announced on Friday. Five meter long reptile from the Triassic period was first identified in China in 2003, but newly discovered fossils allowed the international team to depict the entire creature. Something about this just screams distraction because the last thing I expected to happen in 2024 was for the existence of dragons to be confirmed. Next, they're gonna pull out the unicorn fossil. Yo, I don't know what's going on, but look, it's just a sidewalk full of birds. They're not even moving. Some are alive. That one just flew up to the window, but he's not even moving. But there's just a sidewalk full of freaking birds. I don't know what's going on, but I'm about to get the out of here. Based on the fact that they all look like they're lying in a straight line, tells me that maybe they're on a power line and got zapped. We cannot see something like this every day. Italy's Mount Etna last erupted in December and has been nicknamed Lady of the Rings by locals. These smoky looking circles of gas are volcanic vortex rings. According to a local guide who spoke to Reuters, they're formed when gas is emitted from a crater in the shape of a near perfect circle. I had no clue that volcanoes could even blow smoke rings. It looks like Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg and they're having a meeting. Can people see this? Look at this. Look at the amount of fish that's millions and millions. This is like, where did, where did it come from? That's the middle of the desert. And this is, they're trying to get up. That's the fish there, look. Look at that. You can't. This world is amazing, isn't it? Look at them going across on the road. They're getting through. They're trying to get up and go. It's so beautiful. I'll be soon at Tenon Creek. This is the middle of us. Look at the birds going in for a feed. Oh, man. The thing that's got me is where did this fish all come from? Well guys, love yous and I gotta leave yous because I gotta get to the desert. I'm in the desert, I'm going to another desert. Gotcha. Maybe they just traveled up with the groundwater. If not, then the simulation is broken, broken for fish to just randomly spawn in the desert like this. Who is it? It's so weird. Is it you? Is it me? It's not me. It's motion sensor. There's no one over there. Do it one more time. <laughs> One last time. You. <laughs> Wait, so are we friends now? Can you do it again if we're friends now? Oh. We're not friends?
You don't like me? Are you a doctor? Are you a... <laughs> Wait, so do it again if you're a doctor. be asking to be relocated to another room not conversing with it i was out fishing and sirens came from this island i swear to god i have it on video i'm gonna play it shortly just a week ago mag and a friend of hers were fishing in the gulf of mexico when all of a sudden they captured the sounds of mermaids very similar to this video i hear where's she at Okay, you can see clearly two things swimming next to the boat. You can hear it really sounds like mermaids. And then Mag captured this while she was fishing in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, okay. Like this for real, my cast is like gone. This after she cast it. And she's nothing on your hook. No. I have a worm. I will be packing up the tackle box because whatever that is does not sound friendly like Ariel. This person is fully committed to getting to class on time, but let my grandparents tell her they used to walk through this to get to school every day. But that was the video, guys. Don't forget to sub up, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.